Hey everybody, Utah needs the Insight Terminal Solutions Oakland Bulk and Oversized Terminal. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Zinni Abraham and Zinni62 Media has Insight Terminal Solutions as a client. In fact, I begged to get them as a client because I know the specific history of the Oakland Bulk and Oversized Terminal. And the truth of the matter is that Oakland was co-developer with California Capital Investment Group of which the CEO is now Phil Tagami. A lot of people have just referred to Phil as if he's some sort of, you know, thing out there that stands on his own as opposed to a person who runs a corporation, but I digress. And Phil had this idea to replace the Oakland Army base jobs that are lost due to base closure with a long talked about, much needed bulk terminal. The city of Oakland hired the Tioga Group to say, okay, what kind of market should be pursued with this? The Tioga Group pointed to coal. Phil laid out stringent specifications that coal was to be hauled using covered cars, covered hopper cars, not exposed, and an enclosed, just-in-time transit facility. And other markets like sulfur and iron ore were identified as well, but I digress. The only reason we're in this position now is because Tom Steyer, who recently ran for president, used part of his $1.6 billion fortune, primarily derived from coal investments, to essentially hedge the world market and get the media to and legislators to basically change policy to favor and talk about or write about renewable energy before its time, as opposed to the logical approach, which is to make sure that there's government money ready to invest in the development of renewable energy industry so that it is ready at the right time. It's not big enough. So here we are in the middle of a pandemic. Here we are with an Oakland Bulk and Oversized Terminal. The city of Oakland tried to essentially pretend like it didn't know about, let alone what it was supposed to haul when it did, and there's ample proof of that, and the courts have backed that fact, and say, hey, you know what? We didn't sign a development agreement when the point of fact they did in 2013. Fred Blackwell, who was the Oakland Economic Development Director, said that the Oakland Bulk and Oversized Terminal is a gift to the environmental community, something that some in your Utah media don't know, but it's right out there if they choose to find it. They should read my blog, oaklandnewsnow.com, on a regular basis. I am open about who my company represents. And it's not a lobbyist, but simply in terms of online content. But it starts, but we sit, my company, in stark contrast with Utah media like the Salt Lake Tribune, which has $888,000 in payroll protection program money it got from the government, and it is begging to have, yeah, that's right, forgiven, as any 62 media has it as well. But they are using that money to advocate for other people to lose their jobs in coal in the middle of a pandemic. That is the bottom line. Why? Because of their prejudices of against an injured industry, excuse me, they know nothing about. They don't ask the magic question, how can technology be applied to make the production of coal cleaner? And how can we do it in the middle of a pandemic when it's quite obvious that renewable energy jobs have fallen at a far greater rate? The simple fact of the matter, ladies and gentlemen, is that the service economy that was based on intelligence that the United States so prided itself on, and the service industry that people have so enjoyed has all but collapsed in the middle of a pandemic. Cars, electric cars, because their fueling stations are not in abundance, among other reasons, have slowed to a near trickle in terms of purchases. I can give you other examples as well. And yet in the middle of all of this, we have publications saying, oh, uh, don't finance it, don't push it, don't do this. That's easy to say when you have money to live. 
But when you're talking about people who are begging to save their jobs and, and their jobs among the ones that are actually surviving, when beautician jobs are going by the wayside because of the pandemic and shelter in place and the dangers of just simply being close to each other, and I can name other examples as well that you're familiar with, ever gone to a movie theater lately, and yet, because of a prejudice against what a person does, there are people in your state that would actually advocate not to get money so that it maintains jobs for people who need them. There's only one word for that, folks. It's called cold. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.